Okay, so here we are with part two of our introduction into the Python turtle, and uh, we're going to start out, and let me just say, you'll use uh, some of the commands that we saw before, so we saw, you know, forward and, you know, dot right and dot left and all that kind of stuff, those, those are great and all, but uh, the more precise way to do it, you'll still use forward for things just because uh, sometimes it's simpler, uh, but the more precise way to move things around and, and draw things uh, effectively is to use this coordinate system so i i know you've done this in math if you've not reviewed this in a while i put some review materials in canvas so be sure to check those out just a quick review uh if we, we take a look at this we have the x-axis here we have the y-axis here so you have two numbers listed uh the first one is along the x-axis second one is along the y-axis so we have positive x-axis is this way negative of course this way positive y-axis goes up negative is down for y so if we have this number right here minus three comma four we're going to the left three and we're going up four okay so i'm gonna assume that you know what, what we're doing here if not go review the materials come back okay uh so let's take a look at how we would use this and there's this awesome built-in to our, uh, our our module here, uh, built-in command that we're going to use this function called go to. Okay, so go to lets us go go to and then uh, open parenthesis x comma y. You don't need this space here; it doesn't really matter. Uh, so the problem that you did before looked like this, right? Uh, and you had to guess like what these. The first part was easy, but you had to guess what this angle was and how to turn it, uh, and then how long this line needed to be drawn. And you had to play with that and all that kind of stuff. You can instead use go to, be exact, precise, and it does it quickly. So when you're doing your homework assignments, you're going to want to be using these. So our programming assignments, uh, use go to for them because um, you can be much more precise. It will save you a lot of time. Okay, so as an example, if we take a look at this one, we started out here. It's, uh, or I'm sorry, down here. We start out down here. Uh, and so this is zero, zero. So you can see they went from zero. We, le we left X alone, and then we went up 100. So it went up like this. Okay, then they said, okay, now uh, go to minus 100 on the x-axis and zero so on the y-axis. So that brought us back down to here and then go to zero, zero, went boom, right back over to here. Okay, so uh, just to, to see that work, if, you, if you're curious, uh, this is the way it works. Um, typically when I do coordinates, I don't put the comma in or the space in between there, but it's up to you. Uh, so when I hit run, you'll see, boom, there we go. So we go up all that kind of good stuff if you want to slow this down well we'll do speed in a bit so i'll show you how to use speed uh in, in just a few minutes all right so anyway so we have that um that piece in there use go to this is awesome super precise easy to do that okay so what are some of the other toys that you're going to play with well one of the things that uh, that we'll end up using is this little piece uh, we're going to use these two commands here. So pin up and pin down. So sometimes when you're drawing something, you don't want to, you want to have a gap, right? Everything's not going to be, um, I guess like cursive. I don't know. Like, I, don't, I guess when you're like drawing that out and it's all together. Uh, anyway, you don't want that. So if you're drawing specific shapes, you may want a space in between. So you would simply have turtle dot pin up move you know use go to or forward or whatever you're going to use here uh to, to move it uh to the next place put the pen back down and continue drawing below that okay so these are very useful so pin up pin down and you'll find refer to this powerpoint because uh you know you, you don't use these all the time so come back to this powerpoint so you can remember oh yeah this is what it, it was for this all right so um it, you'll see you'll see what i mean when you get messing around with that so for an example uh, i know one of the homework assignments you'll do has to has uh, a few of these built in so you might see something like this okay so we've got uh forward we're using forward here just to keep it easy i'll show you a different method with go to in a second uh and then we have pin up and pin down so we're moving across so we get these dashed lines and that's what we're getting so got to this point picked it up came over here set it down okay so uh, let's take a look at this and here's that same code and when you see it run boom there you go okay but you notice down here commented out i did a go to version of this so if you would like you can run this go to version and you'll see it does exactly the same thing so it just goes to precise coordinates and, and then moves on now for just this doing this little simple demo really easy for me to do this and i just copy and pasted it right uh for this though if you're being precise it's part of your assignment uh to draw in specific things this is going to be the way to do things all right so but you can do it either you notice in here different ways of doing it okay um, let's go ahead and talk about drawing circles. Okay, so again, 
fun stuff built in for us. We want to draw a circle. Oh, look, simple. <laughs> dot circle. Uh, and then we've got our radius in here. Uh, so that's that's argument we're sending in. And boom, it just draws this little circle. So that's a that's a you know kind of a fun one, right? Uh, pretty simple. But let's say we want to mix it up a little bit. Okay, so maybe you want to change, and you don't want this just this black thin line here. You want to change that up a little bit. Uh, you can use something like this. We can use pen size, and then you have a pixel width, or pen color, and then you put the color inside. Notice it's in quotes. It is a string, so it must be in quotes. This is single, but you, you know you can use double quotes too. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So let's take a look at that one. Boom, here we go. All right, so here we go. Turn it up, pin size, and we're saying five, so it's going to be a little bit thicker. Default is one. And then we have turtle.pen color, and we have red. And just to show you, I mean, it can be, you know, double quotes here. really doesn't matter. Uh, and so we've got that piece in there. Uh, and the colors, you can guess. I mean, almost any color that you uh, can think of will be in here. There's an appendix in the back of the book where you can do Google search. Uh, the, the appendix shows you a bunch of different colors. Actually, it's kind of fun to look at it because there are all sorts of like weird, funky name colors that you can come up with. But any of the main colors, it's gonna it's gonna set this up for you. So you notice I set the pen size up, pen color up. These can be reversed; it doesn't matter. But then circle is after. Okay, so once that's set, boom, we have this line drawn here. Exciting stuff. Okay, so again, you can change this up. I mean, you can put in I don't know blue, and there's a bunch of different shades of blue or, or whatever you want to do here to change this up. Okay. So tend to use red just, I don't know, most of the time. All right. So anyway, so that's, uh, that's to draw a circle, really simple stuff. And again, if we change this, obviously circle size changes, right? Um, so, so you've got that there. All right. So you get to play with that a little bit later on. We'll do, we'll do fill here in a second. We're showing you how to fill those in, uh, drawing dots. Let's do that. Okay. So if we wanted to put a dot somewhere, really simple say turtle dot dot and that's it uh and it will put a dot there so now you can use this and this is kind of a fun one you'll see um one of your homework assignments you can do this or you know you can just play around if you'd like you can use a combination of pin up and pin down here and draw yourself out a nice little connect the dot right so if we drew the dot and then we did pin up then we did forward across the here did pin down drew another dot pin up see the, see the pattern here move it over across here so then you get a nice little connect the dot look to it so it makes it kind of fun uh i've seen some kind of kind of really cool connect the dot things that people have drawn uh, in the past just for for fun or whatever so anyway so there's the so there's that there so drawing a dot really simple now a uh, couple things we are using uh REPL. so there are things that are built into this in fact i should switch this over to the other thing because you can't even read this uh the book discusses these things so background color and um, set up for width and height to set up the actual size of this, but we are not uh, doing that. So it's all set up with REPL so we don't have to worry about it, okay? So it's one one size, you're just gonna have white in the background, all that kind of good stuff, all right? A couple other little things, if you use some of these other commands that are in the book, uh, clear screen doesn't work with it either, all right? And you don't really need to worry about reset or clear either. I uh, won't really use them too much. Okay, one thing that we'll use is speed because sometimes you wanna see something draw in here. Uh, in fact, let's go back over, where was this one? This one. And let's say we wanted to draw this in and take a look at how this works. Oh no, it was this one. Uh, and we wanna use speed. So we can do something like this. So I could say um, turtle, cause I'm always starting with turtle, right? Dot speed. And then you could put a number here. So I might put the number one, okay? And when you hit run, you'll see, so this may be down for me. So you can check it out and see exactly what it's doing. Now, most likely you're not going to want it that slow. So if I ramp it up to 10, you can see it goes very quickly. So sometimes you find like a little happy medium. So you sort of see what's going on and, uh, and you know, but still, you don't sit there forever. <laughs> All right. So I'll delete that for now. But, uh, but anyway, so that's that. So speed. That is a good one. It's something for you to play with. Okay, so it's kind of fun. Um, yeah, if you use zero, just there's no animation. So that's super boring. Don't do that. Um, it just appears on the screen. This, this is terrible. Um, you see me use this. I used um, hide turtle before uh, and then show turtle. They just, you know, the, the turtle cursor will disappear. Okay, so again, those are those are commands that you might use. Let's talk about text. Okay, so when we get to text, I'm going to put this here. 
there are a few ways of doing this. Okay, so we have um, in this one, well, you can see turtle.color and then putting in quotes green right here. And then turtle.write will actually put um, this little piece right here, this kind of write, W R I T E. Uh, and then we're going to, you know, have our parentheses, put it in quotes. It must be in quotes, right? So um, our text argument, we, this is our string, it has to be in quotes. If you leave the close out, that's a problem. It will mess you up. Okay. So, and again, with colors, you can change this around. I, I, I would look in the back of your book. I think it's Appendix D. And uh, there's all sorts of cool colors in there. So, anyway, so play with that. I also put this command in here. So, you can see how this works. Because you're going to want to use a line. You may want to change the font. Um, this doesn't have the capitalization here is, is nothing in this little spot. It doesn't matter. In fact, it should probably be. Let's, let's make it lowercase. Um, so that that doesn't, uh, that doesn't screw you up. Oops. Let's change this up to notice the uh, Microsoft trying to change that up on me. Okay. So anyway, so we've got, uh, we've got this little piece here and then normal. So uh, for example, if you didn't use normal, maybe you put bold right here. All right. So let's take a look at how this works. And, um, uh, depending on where the cursor is, you'll see, uh, it will appear at wherever the cursor is. And it starts here, this little simple one. You know, hello world right there. So not really that big a deal. But let's go ahead and take a look at modifying this a little bit. Okay, so if I do my little simple thing here and I hit run, oops, that's going to go over the top. So let's adjust that a little bit. Let's do this business. Let's just do something simple here. Just say like turtle. Oops. Wow, typing is essential. <laughs> uh, turtle dot go to. And let's just uh, let's just move it up, I guess. Uh, and then we've got that, and that's good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna say uh, run there. So I moved it up. Oh, I don't like seeing that either. So let's do this. Let's say um, I don't know. Let's use pin up, right? Turtle dot pin down. We can do this. Oops. Turtle dot pin up. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, um, and I removed that. I did the pin up and pin down. I could have very easily use our hide command and this sort of gone away, but I wanted to leave the cursor on there for you so you can see um, how changing this will matter. So changing these things up will matter. First of all, if we wanted to change this to bold, oops, we can say bold right here, and you can see it bolded it. Okay, so um, really simple there. You can capitalize the first letter and it won't mess it up. It's not really that big a deal. I usually use all lowercase though uh, for these. If we wanted to change the uh, font, and you have to, you can only use certain fonts, but uh, play around with it. It's it's kind of fun. Again, that's that you know, do a quick Google search for that. I'll show you which ones. But I know Courier is a, a main font, so I can change that, and you can see my font change there. So the high. Okay, so um, you can change it up to change the alignment. Maybe we wanted to use center, and I want to hit run right there. Notice how now it centered it where the turtle is okay so you have to uh depending on where you're trying to line stuff up you'll put the cursor in a certain position and then you know use left right whatever i mean there's all sorts of things that you can do here um oops, this bothers me uh, so i like to see the whole statement on one line there uh so I mean, don't forget you can do this with with REPL. so adjust your your sizes so that it works for you okay all right so anyway so that's a little bit with text so you can mess around with that um and this just gives you some additional options so i don't know that these were in the book but um but that gives you some options to play with and again refer to the powerpoint so this slide this is a great clue for you to be able to uh get you know a font changed you do something in bold or whatever you might want to do there okay uh so now we displayed that already and the last little thing in here is just filling a shape. So we're going to use, and don't forget the underscores here. Uh, we're going to use begin underscore fill and end underscore fill. Okay. So when we're drawing these in, notice the placement of them. Okay. So uh, in this example code, we have, we, we hit the turtle. So the cursor is not there. Uh, and then you can see we have the fill color that was changed to red. That's why I filled it in red. And then you have begin underscore fill, then the circle, then end underscore fill. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so here is this code. All right, now when I click run, 
you'll see it draw it and then boom fills in the circle there and now you notice this is still um, this wasn't modified at all the actual line of the circle on the outside it's still black it's still uh, you know at one so uh, you know you can adjust those up here if you'd like to it doesn't really matter too much and you might see later on you you'll end up doing that uh, so it's totally up to you all right let's uh, go ahead and um, take a look one last thing here uh, they talk about this in the book don't really need to worry about it and that is this turtle dot done uh, because REPL takes care of it you don't have to worry about it okay so you can kind of ignore that too all right so that gives you quite a few things to um, to review I want to show you one little shortcut just because you've hung out for these videos and I, these are a little bit longer than the normal um, let me show you a nice little secret for these and I want to find a shorter piece of code <laughs> let's see ah perfect all right so because this is um, because we can program anything we want, we're telling the computer what to do, you might get tired of typing turtle. So I'm going to show you an alternate way of doing this. And um, it's there, there are other ways, but but we're just going to do something really simple right here just to, to show you this. So because I can set turtle equal to anything, the computer doesn't care. Uh, so once I've imported turtle, you have to you know include this full library module. That's the title. It has to be there. But then I could do something like this, t equals turtle so that then when I come down here and I type a T there and I get rid of this good stuff uh, and I click run look at that it works perfectly the computer is seeing that now this is the same thing as turtle so that's a nice little shortcut for you so a little bonus for sticking with the video I guess this long uh, so anyway so hopefully you're gonna have fun with this it's a blast uh, the assignments are fun I, I think you'll you'll enjoy them in fact let me pull the assignments up just really quickly okay so here we go so this is your first uh, little set of assignments you'll see this is one image so I just uh, this is from the book and uh, it has six images on it six little drawings they are separate so I did you're gonna do a separate drawing for each one of these so you'll see there's a separate place to turn in each one of them I, I did six different places to turn them in so like on this one for example you're gonna draw this piece however you want to draw it and you're going to fill in each one of these okay so you can use any color you like I don't care about that kind of stuff uh, and then um, on this one you've got to draw on this whole thing and you're only going to fill in this part so the begin underscore fill end underscore fill it matters where you put them okay then you've got this little box you've got this little the Olympic rings right here if you want to change the colors on these and try and match the Olympic rings go for it uh, don't worry too much about how they connect that's not that big a deal um, but if you want to change the colors on these try it it looks cool when you do it that way all right so this one you get to see you get to draw in you know some dots you have some pin up pin down for some of these to get the little dash line effects so again there's this this piece here uh, and then you've got this so this is just simply I mean really it's just if you did it I mean there's lots of ways of doing it let's say but you could just simply draw a line here draw a line here and then a circle right uh, and then you're gonna go to these locations and write out each one of these okay so um, so there's that okay uh, make sure that uh, you turn each one separately so do them separately uh, have fun with them they will take you some time uh, that's why for this first turtle section at the end of this, this is the first time we've used it uh, I, I give you guys a lot of time to work on it okay so uh, but don't wait till the end don't start working on these Sunday at 11 you will not finish them uh, so it will take you some time but it's fun so um, start playing with them and I hope you uh, you enjoy working on these uh, you'll see there's one more little bonus assignment in there and so um, I think it's kind of fun it's after these but this will give you some tools to work with along the way all right so have fun